everyone, today's unboxing is for the monthly subscription service to Book Nerd Essentials. This is the classic box and this comes from Misplaced Muse Creative. What a great name for a place, don't you think? This is a book box. It includes one book, which in this case would be a typical classic or cult classic or um, just other classics. Um, a full-size candle inspired by the book a one pot coffee sample and a surprise bonus item um, related to a book. Uh, let's see. It is $36.95 a month plus $8.95 in shipping and they also have a YA box available to them. This is the April 2022 box. It is my second box with them. I so enjoyed the first box. Uh, and I'm like, they've been around for a while. How did I not know about them? So, so let's see what came in this box. All right. So let me pull out the card. Okay. Um, wow. So much, so much fun stuff. Okay, the first item I'm gonna pull out is the candle. And can I say, I love the way this is packaged. Look, it's packaged in paper, like tissue paper that has newspaper print on it. How fun is that? Look, the American Times. <laughs> How fun, that, that is just too fun. Okay, so the candle that I have is Goldfinch Mississippi Writers Series. It is a raspberry and cream inspired one. Ooh, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Nice clean top on it. Oh, wow, the raspberry is very strong, very nice. I hope that when when it burns, we get that strong flavor too. I don't like it when you get candles where you love the flavor, flavor when you love the fragrance and you burn them and then all you smell is burning wax, you know? <laughs> all right, so then the next item that I have is a Sweetheart Blend Medium Roast Coffee from Barney's Coffee and Tea Company. A 100% Arabica coffee. Sweetheart blend, huh? Hmm. I like trying new flavors. I tend to lean toward the darker roasts, but I'm up for good medium roast too. Okay, and then I have, I have a little tea light candle. Um, does it say what it is? Oh yes, here it is. It's on the side there. And you always get one of these tea lights as well, which is just really nice. So this one is... Fit and fiddle. Ooh, I can't, I can't place it. It kind of smells, um, there's a little bit of a fruit smell to it. I don't know, maybe it's going along with the raspberry. Or maybe I'm just still smelling the raspberry, I don't know. Okay, and then I have, I have, oh, I love this about this service. Matches. Because you always need matches to light the candles, right? And this is going to seem silly, and I know I mentioned this last month when I got this, but you don't usually get matches when you get the candles. And this is just one of those small, nice things, I think. You know, it's the little things, right? Okay. Then I have... <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I can't adult today. I can't. I can't. I need to read. Yes, that is me most days. It's a little like keychain that you can just clip. It's got this like claw clip on it and it's metal. How cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love things that make me smile and laugh. Okay, so then, well, let me take out all my, my little things here. So then I have the bag, which has got the book in it. And as I learned last month, not just the book, but other things as well. So gonna be sneaky about this one. Let me just look in the box. Nothing else in the box. Actually, I should show you. See, nothing else in the box except the little squiggles. All right. 
So, okay, we're gonna be sneaky. We're gonna pull out the stuff. Okay, so here's the stuff. I got a thing on candle care, which is always nice if you don't know how to take care of them and trimming the wicks and all that. Um, ooh, and a quote from Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. Wonder if that's the clue. And then a little, um, like a coaster. But it occurred to me after I looked at this last month, I'm like, oh, look, a little coaster. I don't need more coasters. But then I was like, how silly. I didn't even think about how this would be great to place the candle on. I don't know. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes it takes the brain a little bit of time to catch up, right? Okay, so then I have, I have this little canvas bag, which the canvas bag is always so nice to have. Oh, I'm so surprised. I thought we were going to get Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> okay, so the book. The book I have is not Fahrenheit 451. They teased me. Okay, so the book I got is called The Goldfinch. It is um, by Donna Tart. I have never heard about this book. Winner of the Pulitzer Prize and number one national best bestseller, which makes you wonder why it was I haven't heard about it. And my goodness, this is thick. Look at this. Look at how thick this is. This is like an inch and a half. Okay, so what is this about? It says about the number one bestseller about a son, a mother, and a life-changing work of art. Theo Decker, a 13-year-old New Yorker, miraculously survives an accident that kills his mother. Aww. Abandoned by his father, Theo was taken in by the family of a wealthy friend. Bewildered by his strange new life and tormented by his longing for his mother, he clings to the one thing that reminds him of her a small, mysteriously captivating painting that ultimately propels Theo into the art underworld. As an adult, Theo moves silkily between the drawing rooms of the rich and the dusty labyrinth of the antique store where he works. He is alienated and in love and at the center of a narrowing, narrowing dangerous circle. The Goldfinch is a beautiful stay up all night and tell your friends triumph, an old-fashioned story of loss and obsession, survival and self-invention, and ruthless machinations of fate. Okay, I am really intrigued. I'm totally intrigued. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about the thickness. <laughs> this might take me a while to get through. And I'm not going to look anything up about this because I want to be surprised reading it. How exciting that there's something that's like uh, probably a lot of people know about and I don't, and I'm going to find out. All right, so. That is everything that I got in my April 2022 Book Nerd Essentials book box. Um, if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post these unboxings. And as always, I love your comments. Have you read this book? What did you think? Um, what did you think of the box? Or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I'll leave a link also down below to my website, which will give you a more formal review and some pictures, and also to um, the Crate Joy website where I order my Book Nerds Essential box from. So you can check them out there. Um, also, if you follow me on, on Goodreads, or well, pretty much on any social media, because I always post when I do a review, but I do reviews regularly. I'm on several launch teams for authors and, and I'm an influencer. So um, I often will review the reads that I, that I go through. Um, so this one maybe will not show up for a while because it is thick, but, but if you're interested, go and check out my website, which you can get to from the link. And also um, my Goodreads account, you can check them out and see what kind of books I'm reading and what I'm recommending if you're looking for your next read. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.